10 of the most influential drum breaks in DMB. And they are by no means the end all of drum breaks, but they are the 10 that I can pick out in tracks the most often. Now for this video, I put together a project to demonstrate each break and its different uses and how they can be layered together. However, I've realized that this resource is actually really quite useful and anyone else using Logic Pro would maybe want to dive into it. So it is linked below if any of you want to pick that up. Obviously sampling breaks is pretty much how the genre started. Nowadays, you're going to use lots of extra tools in with those drum breaks, but having those initial sounds, something like the Armin break, which is gonna be our first one, brings that instant character, that instant vibe, and that sound of the era into the track, regardless of how we use it. And that is our first break. We're gonna talk about the Armin break. This is by far the most famous and most well-known. And if you've listened to any music in the last 20, maybe 30 years, you've probably heard this break. It's taken from Amen Brother by the Winstons and it's literally just a couple of seconds long, but it's got so much character, so much tonality and so much vibe that you can listen to it on loop, chopped up, rearranged, countless amounts of times. Let's have a look at it in Logic Pro. If we hold option and solo, so we don't play 150 channels back at once. Here's the raw, as it is, arm and break, just chopped up. Now this one's a slightly cleaner version. Where we've sent all the channels out. Let's just look at the raw. And that is it, our whole loop right there. And because it's so versatile, it can be rearranged and reorganized very, very easily. A very common pattern you'll hear is if we just take the whole run through like this, is just the first like section here, just repeated. Say that over like three bars and then really like juggle up the end right here. But if you're gonna grab this project, it's all chopped out into the individual parts here and it's super easy to rearrange the arm in. Or we can just go pretty crazy and mix things up drastically as well. If you want a classic example track that sampled the arm and break, we've got Shy FX original nutter from all the way back in 1994. If I could just ask you to do one thing, if this video has been helpful for you, entertained you, taught you something, that's just bash a like on the video so more people are able to find it and have that same experience. Next, Lynn Collins Think, which sounds like this. Now that might seem a little odd, but once you pitch it up and readjust it and you hear this part. You've heard that hundreds of thousands of times from tracks all the way back, like DJ Hype's Roll The Beats in 1996, right through to the likes of Mohican Sun right now, still using that exact same tonality and pitched up break, that little vocal chop that gives it away that it's the think break. Now there'll be other tracks where you've heard this and the sample source may show something different. And that will be because lots of hip hop tracks picked up on the think break a lot earlier, did all the processing and hard work, and then left the break at the start or ends of their beats and tracks, leading it to just be resampled, making it a lot easier and a lot less work, thus citing those sampling sources. But it is always the Lynn Collins think about it break. Now the think break is kind of special in that it has a lot of utility. You can pair it up with the arm and break and put that classic vocal pitched hi-hat and snare over the top, rearranging the rhythm so they all sit together, giving that layered break effect like this. Today's video is sponsored by DistroKid. They let me get my music out to all of the major distributors and they do that at a price an independent artist can easily afford. If you're ready to get your music or beats out there and want to release an unlimited amount of music each year, check the link in the description below for a discount off of your first year of unlimited distribution with DistroKid. One that definitely originated in the hip hop era, we've got the Apache break. 
It's a pretty funky brake. It's got some toms in it that give it a real kind of vibe and melody to it. Again, this is another brake that layers really well with others and can be juxtaposed in switching out maybe the snares or just layering them up with say the think brake, giving that little vocal phrasing and the melody of the toms. Now something I've done in the patch here, something I really like to do with this brake is make the snares and some of the hi-hat elements stand out. So there's just a layer of them here that's a reverbed up layer. So check this out, I'm gonna switch this on. adds so much extra vibe to it, doesn't it? Um, now I said this layers really well with other brakes. Again, we can take Think and just use, say like the Think, uh, the Think Topper here, which is that classic sound. And yeah, you know, you've heard that before, right? Uh, drop in the heavy kick on the one. And there we are, we're ready to go. Super, super easy brake to be working with. And there's a little section here where I've changed that around because it doesn't quite flow naturally. And you can see that if we just loop that little section here. And that can be great as like the end bar jumping into the next part, but it doesn't loop particularly well. And maybe just leave it to run at the end like that. So you've got that kind of like little we're hitting bar four, we're gonna go back and start again. So like this. and you just get that little juggle option there. But again, really great one to layer in with. It's not the only brake it can work with. Again, you can do this too. The next two, I'm gonna call them Funky D and Funky P. Funky Drummer and Funky President, both from James Brown records of those names. You can find both these breaks present throughout the classic albums like Goldie, Ronnie Sizes Represent as well. And you'll find sometimes just little snippets and samples you use, sometimes the whole breaks there, sometimes they're layered in together. from the same artist in the same field, they've got kind of a similar sound, a similar funky soul vibe, and they do gel very well together, but they're also nice accents for something a little bit more heavy or fast. Now another James Brown one, you would have heard this, it's the Hot Pants Break. This one's a lot more aggressive, especially with the snare and the drums being quite a distorted sound. It is possible to clean them up, but sometimes that vibe is exactly what you're after. Now we're gonna veer slightly off into what maybe is the more obscure breaks, perhaps not the more popular ones some people would choose, but ones that I think are just as important. <laughs> The Roach Clip break is from Ashley's Roach Clip by The Soul Searchers. You pick this break because it's got this distinctive snare shuffle, which you've heard in DB, the kind of da 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 roll. That generally comes from that break or that kind of vibe and feel. and putting the roach clip in and then having your own really much more cleaner samples fill it in 
can work stupendously well in creating that vibe. we have got the honey drippers in Peach the Presidents. I call it the Peach Break. And you'll find this used more of that laid back 140 breaks sound. Skull Snaps Break. This is from the self-titled album Skull Snaps. It's just a really, really solid drum recording that just gives us those key samples and that vibe of a drum break straight away. This is another one where you can have something like the Think Break. You've got that classic sound, that classic shuffle, the snare, the little vocal pitch up. Throw the Skull Break in there with it and that instantly layer, they instantly make this classic big break sound. built up nice and quickly. You pick it for the clean samples, the clear cuts and the groove that goes with it. And this is kind of a fun one to throw in there, the Sesame Street break. The Sesame Street break is taken from a parody track kind of mocking Sesame Street the show. Um, it's got some bits of vocal sound in there but it's got some great drum recordings and you can get a great break out of it when you mix it up with something else. So here we are. Um, on this project if you press H all the original breaks are in here above whatever you were like, with or looking at. So the Sesame Street break like that chops up nicely into. And you can mix up the patterns, make it so that the vocals aren't in there, for example, and it layers well with things like the skull snap. And of course, and if you want to mix up the pattern, it will fit with many other things such as the think break, but the rolling snare pattern is what it naturally has and fits with other breaks that kind of have that feel. So I really hope that was useful for you and gives you an idea of how you can take those different bits of breaks, glue them together. And if you want to grab that logic project and save yourself about a day's work in doing that, save all the presets, bring them over into your own tracks, it is linked below for you to do exactly that. If you'd like to see more videos like this, well, you can check out this one next or the channel right here where there are hundreds and hundreds more. I look forward to seeing you in those. Thank you very much. Take care.